Plymouth will support the flight from the control room in Mo Mo Monaco. The plane is set to reach its destination, which is Muscat Oman, after covering over 500 kilometers in 10 hours of flight. The plane will then head to India, which is going to India, China, and Myanmar before traversing to the Pacific and stopping in Hawaii. Across the U.S., two route includes Phoenix, Arizona, and New York's biggest airport, JFK International. The leg across the Atlantic would depend on the weather and could include a stop in southern Europe or Morocco before ending in Abu Dhabi. The journey's coming legs over the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans will consist of five, six days of flying solo, AP reported. The plane is scheduled to return to the United Arab Emirates capital in late July or August. The trip is being sponsored by Abu Dhabi's government, Mazdar, Omega, Google, and Moet Hennessy, among others. So there you go, friends. There you go. And very interesting news. It might be something that, uh, if it's successful now, could be applied by uh, people in ways that we only dream of. We see it all the time. And that brings us, friends, to two dum dee dum dee dum dees of the day. I am swarmed by dum dees. I have dum dees coming out of my you-know-what, and I can't get to them all. So you get two dum dees today. Mikhail Thalen always finds me the best. InfoWars conservation officer shoots family's miniature pig after feeling threatened. How do you feel threatened by a miniature pig? What, you don't know how to kick? And I'm not in favor of kicking the little pig. I'm just saying, how do you feel threatened by a miniature pig? He came out of the woods at me running at a trotting pace and I felt threatened so I shot and killed him. Oh, God. A Michigan family is seeking justice after their pet miniature pot bully pig was shot and killed by a Department of Natural Resources officer last week. <laughs> According to owners Tony Gervasi and Brandy Seville, two-year-old Caesar went missing last Thursday, shortly after being let outside on the family's 28-acre property. Attempting to find Caesar, the couple began following the 30-pound animal's tracks before discovering a puddle of blood at a nearby trail. Maybe the officer heard he was Caesar, Caesar and thought he was Roman and I don't know, worried he was going to be crucified or something. I don't know. The ground was still soft, so we were able to follow his little hoof prints down our driveway and into our dirt road. Gervasti wrote on the family's GoFundMe page. Go to their GoFundMe page. To our shock and disgust, we found a puddle of blood and short drag marks several feet from the property line. Assuming that their pet had been hit by a vehicle, the family took to Facebook in an attempt to find answers. The following day, a knock on the family's front door produced a DNR officer with information on the missing piggy. Actually, I am responsible for the missing pig, the officer reportedly snorted. He came out of the woods at me, running at a trotting pace, and I felt threatened, so I shot and killed him. In a state of complete disbelief and anger, the family says the officer then began to change his story in an apparent attempt to appease them. The man then began to change his story to, I was following orders rather than the lie he first told about Caesar running out of the deep snowy woods and charging him, Gervasi wrote, noting Caesar's inability to charge in deep snow is due to his 15-inch height. How does a miniature pig charge through deep snow when it's 15 inches high? It ain't going to happen. My dog can barely do it. <clears throat> According to ABC10, the DNR has since stated that although the pig did not charge the officer, acted in accordance with both his rights as a conservation officer and feral swine laws, yeah, just kill every tiny little piggy you see and assume it's a feral swine. You can't tell a miniature pig from a feral swine? And you're a DNR officer? What, did you win that title out of a Cracker Jack box? It says the only thing that he said was that he was following orders. That the instructions are to shoot pigs, Seville told reporters. When I asked him how he could shoot something so small... He said that there is such a problem with wild pigs in our area that he was just doing his job. <sighs> Nuremberg. Before asking the officers to leave, the family pleaded for Caesar's body in hopes to bury their beloved pet. I asked for his body, and he told me that we could not have him and that he is going to be sent to the USDA 
for testing like a rabid animal. Well, it's obvious by the damn pictures they put up that it was their pig. How many people do you own that uh, know that own a rabid miniature pig and hang up posters when it goes missing? How many people has this DNA officer met who ho house rabid baby miniature pigs? Zero, that's how many. It says, we can't even have the poor baby's body back to lay rest on our property that he loved. Vowing to take legal action, the family has started pages on Facebook and GoFundMe.com in order to raise awareness and funds. Christelle, I know you're listening. We have to uh, donate to that last thing we said that we were going to donate to. We did forget, but I didn't lie to you. We're going to get to it. It says, we need to fight back. We need to fight to get his body back. Attorney costs will start piling up very soon, and we need to help to make a difference, the family wrote. Every bit counts. Anything above the attorney cost will be put toward the effort of changing these cruel and pointless laws and retraining for the people put in charge of maintaining our precious outdoors. Thank God. What a great cause. It says, as shocking as this incident is, countless other pets have been executed for similarly absurd reasons. Last month, for instance, a sheriff's deputy in Oregon shot the family's pony in the face after claiming it had been hit by a car. An autopsy by a local veterinarian revealed that the animal had been in perfectly good bodily condition prior to having his face blown off by the officer. So they're killing pets. They're lying about it. They're intimidated by miniature pet pigs. Friends, it's out of control. Go to their GoFundMe.com and help them. Lastly, I, I could not get rid of this. I've had this for almost a month. This is so stupid. Obama criticizes Christians at an Easter breakfast prayer. <laughs> Kit Daniels in for wars. President Obama called out less than loving expressions by Christians during a White House Easter breakfast on Tuesday. On Easter, I do reflect on the fact that I, as a Christian, and there's, uh, yeah, I believe that, Pinocchio, I'm supposed to love, and I have to say that sometimes when I listen to less than loving expressions by Christians, I get concerned. Obama told his audience of Christian leaders, but that's a topic for another day. Obama seemed to have made the statement off the cuff because it didn't really fit into the rest of his speech about Jesus Christ which didn't allude to current events for the most part. Did you, did you hear about him reporting on Christ? No, because the media doesn't want you to ever say the word. It says it's likely that Obama was referring to the controversy surrounding Indiana's religious freedom law, especially after Americans raised $800,000 in support of Indiana pizzeria, pizzeria owners who said that they wouldn't cater, into a, wouldn't cater to a gay wedding if asked to do so due to religious beliefs. Now keep in mind, just because someone claims they're a Christian doesn't mean that everything they do is right or wrong. And also, you have to remember that you are allowed to run your business as you see fit. There are Baptist churches that would not marry me because of various lifestyle issues I have. And you know what? They shouldn't have to marry me. If I want to be married in a Baptist church, then I can be a Baptist. This is ridiculous. It says, social media exploded in disgust over Obama's criticism. If he really thought that that was a topic for another day, then why did he say anything at all? Discuss users submandave asked on twitchy.com. He's a little leftist, passive-aggressive censor. <clears throat> another discuss user said he wasn't Christian, but the attacks on Christians are getting out of hand. At least let the religious have their religious holiday. Cri criticize them on the next day or something if you really feel the need to, he stated. Twitter user DeBlazik also said that Obama was showing his true colors. At a prayer breakfast with invited Christian leaders who he asked to be there, why in the world would he even say that? He just can't help himself. So there you go, friends. Obama getting the dumdy of the day. A dunce cap of the month award is going to be coming up soon. Friends, you're listening to The Correct Views. Sam I.B. DeGange reporting and doing political commentary for The Media Speaks. You can go to TheMediaSpeaks.com, look up the work of Kyle Court, D. Lake, and myself, and you can donate to this show at uh, thecorrectviews at hotmail.com. Every penny that you give towards me, friends, always, always goes towards a better show. Good night, friends. God bless, and thank you very much for tuning in.